All right, now my favorite show, I hadn't even been able to catch up with it, but I caught up with the season part two of Love and Marriage Huntsville Reunion. Baby, let me tell you, um, I know I'm a little late, but every, I'm going to tell you my favorite outfit, it has to be with um, <clears throat> Kimmy. Kimmy looks so good, and my heart goes out to you, Kimmy. You know, many, many blessings on on uh, on your journey and you know survival and everything that what you're going through with the breast cancer, and um, you know I wish you the best of luck, and I'm praying for you. You know, you're the only sane one, the only not the sane one, but the only one who you know your mind is um, when you're communicating. I can't think of it right now, y'all. My bad, but I love Kimmy. Anyway, so. Marceau tongue tied, baby. <laughs> we finally see Marceau tongue tied. We finally get something. Some we get we get we get something about Marceau and the cheating because my thing is I'm I'm kind of with um I'm kind of with Tish on this. Like people really, 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 really like y'all really want this girl marriage to be fucked up like y'all really don't want her to be married like like y'all like the thing about relationships is you when you're in a relationship with somebody i don't care what it is or how y'all communicate you're in a relationship with that person it's, it's, it's you and that person that has the relationship and whatever whatever y'all like outside might not agree with it or might not like it but that's what y'all want to do you know what I'm saying? That's your relationship or how you all want to relate. That's her husband. She going to stand by her husband. Ain't, no, ain't none of y'all richy, ratchet, whatever finna come between what the fuck her and her man got. That is a union. That is a bond. Like like um, like um, Karen said, you will not mess up this institution. You hear me? You will not mess up that institution. So, But the cousin come out there, Kiki, which, you know, I love Mel. Don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm I'm team Mel all day, but Mel, you really don't be talking about, you know, the stuff that you do. You really don't. You really, you know, you really put it on everybody else and you in your in your eyes, you do nothing wrong and everything that you do is justified on why you do it. Like, nah, you you do have some faults. You did bring the cousin on the show to talk about um Tisha. To have a storyline. Because you and Martel, that's getting old. Um, so the cousin did come out there and they did say about um, Marceau liking a picture of a girl in a butt. Now, and the mama, yeah, I think it's cheating even if you're looking. God damn, mama. I thought it was look, don't touch. But mama said, no, ma'am, you you supposed to goddamn hold your head down and turn to the side. That ain't life, though, mama. That ain't life. And that's probably why... Sometimes people, um, relationships, sometimes women, um, people, period, you know, don't have no damn body because you be concerned with the wrong thing. You know, you got to figure out what's important in your life. You know what I'm saying? And if a man looking at another woman it is goddamn, go on and look, baby, because I know what I got over here and, and what I got over here, you ain't going nowhere. You can look, you can do whatever you want to do. You coming back. Trust me. They always do. So anyway. But um, Marceau said, and you know, he was tongue tied. He didn't know what to say, baby. He was like, "Yeah, you know, I um, yeah, I like the picture, you know, but that was it." And he made a little comment under it or whatever. But Tisha said, "That ain't enough for me. That ain't enough. You know how long they've been married and been together and what they have established, please. Whatever. Come, come, come back with something else." And um, Kiki, you know, they talked about her issue. You know, she had like um issues with pills and things of that nature and she didn't think it was cool how Tisha must have talk, talked about her when Tisha was the one that helped her and she didn't like it and Miss Wanda and they're first cousins meaning that Wanda's sister is her aunt it's Tisha's, yeah, it's Tisha's aunt you know what I'm saying so Kiki I'm gonna let you know now don't get involved with that shit if you ain't ready cause they gonna you know they gonna make sure okay you know, they're going to make sure they, you know, they get down and dirty. Speaking of Miss Wanda, let's get into this fight that happened this season with Melanie and Miss Wanda. Okay. 
Mel, once again, you did start that shit. Like you, you did go to um, Destiny's um, re-grand opening or something like that, and you purposely took your camera over there by Miss Wanda, and you turned. You could have made plenty of actions, but the one at, oh, I can do this, and I yeah, we're not saying that you can't. Like nobody's saying that you can't do that, but my thing is, be a little bit responsible for your actions. Don't always justify the reason. Sometimes, baby girl, the reason it is what it is. And Miss Wanda was, it was okay for her to say she wasn't repeating nothing that she did not hear. And she heard that from Martell. And I be damned, my girl, my girl, my girl, heavily, you know, starting shit on other TV shows. She be starting shit on Married to Medicine, honey. She done started some shit on goddamn, um, uh, Love and marriage, Huntsville, because Martell, you did question the maternity of your, the paternity of your child. Because you did say that Mel was with other men. So let's not go there. Like, I need for you and Mel to admit that you all did say that because Wonder is not just making it up. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to go all the way, go all the way. But apparently you want to have something for TV or whatever. So yeah, Miss Wonder, yeah, and and talking about some choppers and one uh M Melanie, you purposely went over there and you purposely started some shit with her, point blank. Your car, it was our car. Your car wasn't even that way. Your car wasn't even that way. They told you to get off your live because you were gonna get on live because Miss Wonder was on her live, but y'all was filming a TV show and they told you you couldn't do that. And. uh that's all. And children is off limits. But she was not talking about your children. She was talking about you and Martell and wanting to know if that's your baby. Now, I know in the past she said something about the hair and whatnot, whatever. But I can clearly see that she was not... Well, I guess you talking about the child because now you're trying to say that the child daddy might not be the dad or something like that. Whatever it is. But, you know, Wanda, I know I understand where Wanda was coming from. And I know that Mel was being messy. And when, when they were trying to confront Mel and Mel was just like, you know, I'm just going <clears> to... <throat> you know, I'm just, you know... um. You know, I'm not going to get into that because Marceau was like, Mel, you don't take response accountability for the things that you do. Well, I'm just saying, you know, the things that I see and the things that are going on, you know, I'm just saying, you know, I'm just saying, you know, I'm just speaking on what I've heard and what I've seen. And, and it, it doesn't, you know, I'm sorry, but if it's the truth, it's the truth. So, you know, you can't fault me for the truth because it's the truth, you know. You know, if Miss Wanda would stay in her lane and stay out of people's business and stop talking about other people's children because, you know, that's just not right. And I'm not talking about her family, you know, especially when, you know, Tisha's daddy was in my DMs, you know. Really? Just Mel, just just hold accountability for what you do. Okay, that's all. Um, Stormy, I'm not gonna lie. Stormy, like Stormy, had to kind of grow on me too. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, Stormy had to really, really grow on me too, cause. You can, I mean, she's from Mississippi and you're taking it out of context just because she has a Southern accent. She's a very successful businesswoman. And, you know, when you work very, because being an entrepreneur, it is not easy. Like, uh, no, working for yourself is not easy, you know, and that's what I try to put my mind frame is it's like, I've been going to toe to toe for companies and it's like, I got to have that same energy for myself that I put into somebody else's dream. I got to have that for my dream and for her to become successful in her dream, especially in the hair industry when it's dominated mainly by Asians. I commend her that and we need to see real people on TV and that's not cool for them to say it's love and hip hop because she has a nice husband, a nice supportive husband that supports her and you know, they have children. So why not? You know, we need to see all aspects of life and she's, you know, she is who she is. Okay. Okay. Now for destiny, I 
would agree. I would agree with Destiny that, you know, um, she is very, uh, she does have attitude issues. You know, I, I'd, I'd agree with that. You know what I'm saying? And I'd agree it might be hard to work with her. So, and the producers, y'all, the producers say that it's hard to work with her. So, it's like, Destiny, it's just not coming out on the camera. You know, the people who you work for are saying that you're very private. And I understand that your husband, I think I got some background on it, that your husband didn't want to do the show or he didn't agree with you doing it and you want to do it anyway. So if you agree to do the show, that means that you're going to agree to your lifestyle and you need to open up and talk about your business. You see what I'm saying? Baby, it's a reality show. You got to open up. And then, you know, Kimmy was just explaining that to you too. Like you need to really just open up and you know, you know, if that's what you want to do, it might not be for you. That's how you're going to get some exposure, baby. We, we need to see more than your little pretty hairstyles and your little pretty face and look cute little outfits. You see what I'm saying? You got to come with some substance. You can't just be piggybacking off of everybody else storyline other than that you need to be a friend of the show you don't need to be on the show so um next next episode we're going to talk more about you know kimmy what's going on with her and then i kind of forgot everything else but i will talk to y'all later please like comment subscribe bye